Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I post videos about anything I want, hence the name Everything Alani. Today is going to be a nail related video. It's been a long time, it's been a long time, uh, since I've done a, what is this? <laughs> Do my nails with me type of video. I've had these on for about four weeks now. We are the end of January and I put this on just before Christmas. Uh, and I think they've grown out enough to make me do know again. A couple of the rhinestones has fallen off already. Uh, yeah, they got stuck behind like a towel or whatnot. And sometimes I just intentionally bite them off, <laughs> which is not something I recommend. Since it's the end of January and the next holiday, if you can call it a holiday, is going to be Valentine. I am going to do some Valentine's nails. I'm thinking pink, I'm thinking hearts, I'm thinking maybe a little bright yellow. Hmm. Keeping it pretty soft and simple. I loved these nails. Look at that glitter. <gasps> this is Willow from Magpie, Magpie Beauty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. Maybe you can see a little bit better like this. Oh. If that ain't nice. And then this one. I think it's called... Yes, it's called Scarlet. I have this vibrant red as a base. And then I just sprinkled it over the color and then baked it into the color. Um, Look at those glitters. I love glitters. I mean, I love this red as well. It's one of my favorites. Dude, pretty, pretty, pretty. So I am going to be choosing my colors and I will come back. These are the colors that I've chosen. I mean, I'm thinking about getting rid of one color, maybe two. <laughs> um, they're all nail nail colors, which is by accident. Um, so I went with ooh, this yellow. I have to say, I have used this yellow so many times. This is like the perfect yellow for <sighs> fall nails. Ooh. Spring nails, apparently, Valentine's Day nails. This is, I love this color. I'm so happy I bought this. I've used it a ton. Then I went with like a pretty neutral light pink, which I do want. I want, on, I think, a light pink. It's a little bit more vibrant on camera. Uh, and then Sweet Muffin is just a little bit darker. Jesus. <laughs> Ow. It's weld shut. Okay, I'm so sorry. There's like a bicycle race here. And uh, I'm sorry if you can hear him talk, but I cannot wait because the race is the whole day today and then again tomorrow, so I cannot wait until they've stopped. Yeah, so a little bit more of a, a vibrant pink. Focus, please. Yeah. Then a neon, but mm, it's the cap is more neon than the color itself. So, I don't know. And then, a nice, what is it, peony, peony purple. It's a little bit, oof. It, it looks pink on camera, but it's actually more of like a purple, purple. <sighs> I don't know, I like this combination. But is it too much of the same tone? Should I add 
like this one or this. I don't think I'm gonna go with the neon. Yes, so eliminate it. Maybe these four or these three. I'm gonna think about that as well. And then I saw some cute plates. I like this one with the hearts and a little circle. So that can be an option. Then I like this little heart that I don't have to hand paint it. <laughs> Always easy. And then I was thinking maybe using it together with some of these stars that you see everywhere, but I do like it. I could do kisses. I do love it. I love uh, like those ones with the little ribbles in it and since I have yellow like the big yellow ones Mixed with maybe some pink colors that would be super cute to do. Oh, maybe on one nail mm, Yeah, yeah, yeah see that's why I Try to pick different things so my creative juices <laughs> Can get flowing. I was thinking about maybe doing a um, glitter paint so with some big glitters I also have these very vibrant pink hearts like two-toned uh, then I actually want to do one nail with this so this is the cloud build me up bottle from magpie beauty so it's actually like a like milk bath uh, color I would say so I want to do I saw this I think on the magpies Instagram I will link I will put the picture here I saw this from somebody and she had glitters if I'm doing this I will have to like get rid of the green and blue colored and orange color oh well, maybe i can use the orange no the orange can stay but like the green and the blue ones or especially the blue ones they cannot stay i will be i will have to be picking out the colors that i want and then mix it or just putting the clout gel over it and then mattifying it with a matte top coat that was so pretty and then maybe i can on that nail I could use the kisses that can be cool <laughs> then I have some other heart stickers that I really like these ones are golden I was thinking more in like black shaped to do black shaped hearts on the nails but yeah we'll see about that and that's everything lots of ideas hopefully I can think of what I want to do later <laughs> So first I'm removing the gel with a medium ceramic bit. Put a little bit of pressure on it, like not too much, because otherwise you're gonna get dense. I'm just going in little strokes from left to right and then back again. And when I see the previous builder gel come through, I put even less pressure on it. Sometimes I like to tilt my bit horizontally instead of vertic vertically <laughs> from time to time to like even out the leftover color gel. But if you're a beginner, be very careful. I also like to go around the edge whilst being careful not to fire my natural nail. I'm removing the crystals with a nail clipper. I usually use an old cuticle nipper, but the one I used to use is too old, so I'm using this one instead. Like the nipper is easier to use, my opinion. I try to feel like the glue from the crystal. It's like a bit more rubbery than the gel. And then I try to wiggle the nipper under like a, the side of the crystal and lift it so like the whole crystal comes loose. But also like don't push or pull too hard because you can like shift or when your nipper moves you can cut into your cuticle or your sidewalls and 
you want to try to avoid that. <laughs> now I'm switching to my bit that's a little bit more coarse because I wanted to take away some of the length of my nails. You can also use a medium one as well, but this one removes it a little bit faster in my opinion. Like try to go in like one fluent motion if you can. It's scary the first time you do it, but you can't be like too gentle with this because then it skips onto your nail and it's really not a pleasant feeling. <laughs> so like a little bit of pressure and in one fluent motion if you can. Now I'm continuing to file them to give them uh, more of like a straight line. I'm using a 180 grit hand file and I'm of course also doing the sides with it to give it like a very straight straight or trying to give it like a very straight straight line. So the nail on my ring finger is a little bit crooked. I try to correct it a little when I file them, but yeah, I used to be not like unhappy, but not just not happy with it. But then I know that it's okay, nothing is ever perfect, it's just I have a little accident. Then I'm pushing back my cuticle with a, you guessed it, cuticle pusher. Then removing the dead skin with the nipper. I think this is so satisfying. <laughs> it's like when you can peel a potato in one go or an apple, but I don't really like apples. So yeah, I would choose a potato over an apple any day, but I'm not here to talk about food. So back to the filing. Sorry if my voice sounds a little raspy. I'm getting a cold and I couldn't wait anymore to post this video so I needed to do the voiceover. So back to filing. Now I'm just removing like the last bit of leftover gel or leftover color gel and roughing up the leftover build gel as well as well as my natural nail. Like don't over file just take the shine away. We're doing this just so the new gel has something to grab onto. So here they are prepped, I mean, okay. now I'm just gonna go around the cuticles with like a teardrop shaped, <laughs> teardrop shaped bit and then a round bit to clean up my cuticles a little bit more, um, but yeah, for the rest I think they're done, uh, but then I will show you the rest on this hand, I will go further on this hand for the design. I'm gonna put on a sweater because damn I'm cold. <laughs> so now I'm using a teardrop shaped bit to rough up the natural nail near the cuticle and the sidewalls. So I can go as close as possible with the gel and still have like a good adhesion. So I'm going from the middle of the nail to the left sidewall. Then I'm switching the rotation of the bit, going again from the middle of the nail to the right sidewall. I'm using the bit on very low speed, by the way. Then I changed it to a ball or a round bit to clean up some of the leftover dead cuticle that I couldn't nip with the cuticle nipper. Also on a very low speed.
So both pans are prepped kind of the same way uh, and I'm ready to apply. I'm well, taking a clean wipe and some alcohol spray. I go over my nails, shimmying it from left to right to take most of the dust off from all the previous filing. And using the Airbound from Light Elegance, I cover like the natural nail part with this. Only a tiny amount and trying to avoid the skin as much as possible. There's no need to go over like the leftover builder gel, save some product. On to Builder in a Bottle. I'm going with the color Teddy from the Gel Bottle Ink. So like the first layer works as a tacky layer. The, this layer makes sure that the gel will stick onto your natural nail or like it works as a layer between your natural nail, natural nail and the builder. I know it's like a primer. I just do a tiny layer of this and then pop it in a lamp for 99 seconds on low heat mode. I kept the free edge with this as well and I usually do all four or five fingers at once. So after this, I'm applying a second layer of the Builder Gel. This will work as the slip layer for building my small little apex on it. Then I take like half a pea size pearl of Builder Gel and place it just over the middle of my nail. I like bop it a few times so it forms a small little ball on the nail. Then I try to wiggle it as close to the cuticle as possible, not touching it, then floating it down in a zigzag way. Then for the sides, I use a liner brush to make sure every part of the nail has gel over it. Now, this bottle is quite old and I noticed that it was very thick and not going where I wanted it to go, so I opened a fresh bottle for my other hand. I think it was like the best decision I made that day. <laughs> okay, so they're all coated now. I have filed them just a little bit to make sure that the shape's nice. And then I've went over it with one like super tiny or super thin layer of the builder gel again so that it would fill out the ridges so when I go with a color right now it won't get into all the ridge ridges, ridges and it won't bleed out if you know what I mean. <laughs> now on to the nail art. The thing is if I'm gonna do a French Tip. It needs to be super tiny because otherwise I don't have any space to work with and also the picture of the heart is really big so actually I, I, I can only do like one heart a nail or I have to free paint it and I'm, I can free paint a couple of things but a heart, oof, I don't know this is hard <laughs> such a life decision <laughs> i think i'm gonna do the hearts first and then i'm gonna decide if i'm gonna do a french tip or not no i think i do want to do a french tip it's just oh, it's such a <laughs> asshole <laughs> okay starting with the ring finger i picked a bunch of the rainbow glitter out of the pot separated the blue ones like i said then I kept the rest and then I mixed it with a little bit of the cloud gel 
and uh, here I'm just floating on the nail just like I would put a thick layer of color gel on. And I'm trying to rearrange some of the glitters. I wanted it to be organic or flowy but also like put together. <laughs> And some of it got in a cuticle, but no fear. I just use a small dotting tool and wipe with a gel. I don't recommend doing this with a darker color or like a very liquid product, but for this it's perfect. Then I'm getting out my liner brush from Magpie Beauty to do like this skinny, skinny French, mini French, micro French, whatever you wanna call it. I will call it micro French. <laughs> So I went a little bit too thick, but nothing that a brush with cleanser can fix. So for the middle and ring finger, I chose the color Sweet Muffin from Neo Nail. I thought the two pinks together looked very pretty. Then lace peony on the pinky. I think now you can see a little bit better that it's purple instead of dark hot pink. Then autumn sun on the pointer finger, pointer finger. And then Sweet Muffin again on the thumbnail. So I did two coats of every color. And pretty thick coats, I might add. Then for the stamping, so I took out my silicone mat, a big stamper, a stamping plate, stamping nail polish, a very old club card that I haven't used in like over five years probably. So I first tried the little dots with a heart in the middle design, and yellow, but oh, I wasn't really a fan. I think the heart didn't really show up. So I used this like a very light pink. Kind of similar to the pink that I chose in the beginning of this video, if you can remember. So I like this a little bit better, but also it didn't show up very well. So yeah, cleaning my mat and then just <laughs> trying a different approach. I wanted to see if like the little lips, which are water decals, would look prettier than the heart. Didn't really like it, so I tried to move it around on the nail to see if I like Liked it better in another placement or, but no. <laughs> Back to stamping. <laughs> so trying a black heart this time, but I found it too harsh against all the other bright colors. So I tried to soften that with white. Yeah, also wasn't satisfied with that outcome. Mm, 
Maybe it will look better over the thumb <laughs> or on the thumb. I think it's pretty, but it stands out a little bit too much. So I thought maybe if I slap some yellow on it, it will make it work. No, no, definitely not. But then I thought, wait, what about white with pink over it? And we have a winner. I like this. So happy with my choice. Then I put some builder gel over it, some clear builder gel, because I like the strength and I like the look. And I also love my super shiny top coat from Light Elegance and you can't put it over gel polish because it will chip or flake. And now the super shiny top coat, the cherry on the pie. And here are my nails all done. What do you think? I do like it. I wasn't sure about like the white and pink heart. I especially like it on my thumb. Look how cute this one as well. And uh, yeah, I love the color combination. Um, I'm happy to be back at my old, my trusty dusty or dusty trusty, trusty dusty, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, shape. I do like an oval or a round nail as well, but if I'm being completely honest, I think this shape, shape suits me the nicest, um, for my nails at least. Here they are, a little bit more zoomed out. I will turn them again. Yeah, I really like them. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!